Okay, I want to go through this one time just for the benefit of uh, myself in the future and anyone who might benefit from this. This is the observable. And the way it works real quick is, let's just run it. Well, we'll clear this out. Do you know run a main TS? And we get the child value set to two and the parent and grandparent update, like uh, cascading. All right, so <clears throat> we create a child, we create a child uh, observable, a parent, and then a grandparent. And then we set a couple of subscriptions, one on the grandparent and then one on the parent for when the child, yeah, when the child updates, the, okay, so we'll we'll say, okay, we're, we're setting the child to two. We go ahead and do that. We set, when we say child.value equals two, that will trigger a subscription on the parent to recalculate its value, which is based on the child. And then when the parent recalculates, that will trigger a subscription on the grandparent to recalculate its value because grandparent is based on parent value plus one. Parent is based on, parent is based on child value plus one. And the child is just returning the value of one. So we have child value one, parent two, grandparent three, child value set to two. So that means it's out of order here. Let me kind of put it in the order here. Well, okay. Anyway, grandparent just goes first. Um, anyway, so that's how it works. So it's a cascading update. Let's take a look at how this works here. So we're just gonna run the uh, debugger for Dino. I've got a uh, breakpoint in a couple places one here, the constructor. Um, step over and into are basically the same thing. If it's not a function, if it's your function, it will step through the definition. If it's like a console log or like a system function, you don't want to step into that because then you're going to get deep into some files and you have to step out of that. But in case you do, step in, step out. Okay, so we're just going to push step into on everything. So um, this is the child, okay? So result, we're going to calculate the child. Boom. Return one. Okay. So now um, this this observable, the child observable, is value is equal to one. And then um, it's kind of just going through this. This is this is not really that interesting. This is just kind of going over everything for the child. It always it already returned its value, so it's just like whatever. All right, created it, logged it out. Okay, and then in the console it should show. Well, maybe we're not there yet. Okay, child value one. All right, so now the interesting part comes in. Oh, okay, see so we stepped into the console log. We'll step out of that. Okay. Uh, now the interesting part, we're going to create the parent. Okay, the parent is based on the child, so <clears throat> let's step into all that. Okay, creating a new observable for the parent. Now we're in there, looping through all this. It just, it basically just kind of sweeps over all the definitions and then goes to the constructor. Okay, if type of init is function, yeah, the parent function is based on, it's a calculation of the child, so we'll enter in here. So this value function equals init. So it, it assigns that that function, the parent function, which is calculating the child. And then the args, there's no args. We'll call this dot compute. So compute is called to calculate the parent functions, um, the, the, excuse me, the parent observables function, which is based on the ch child. It always, compute always re relates to, to the parent, never the child. All right, so uh, we set compute active equal to the parent observable, and then run the run the function with arguments. The current there is no arguments, so it'll just it'll return the, the it'll return the value of the parent function, which is the child's value plus one. So in order to get that child child's value, we're going to have to access the child observable. 
So we're going to step into that observable now. So, so now you see the call stack is um, calling main. Main creates the parent, which goes into the observable create method. Now we're in the parent observable. We're calling compute. Then in the compute function, we're running uh, the calculation of the parent's function, right, which is here. And now we're going to add to the call stack uh, the get accessor for the child. So we'll step, you know, over into that. So now we're in the get accessor for for the child. So we're going to find out what this is, and that's going to end. This is going to be the child, uh, the child function, right here. Okay. So its value is one. It returns one. Okay. So let's just keep stepping. All right. So it, we checked if the observable dot compute active. That's the parent. Okay. The parent function. If that exists, so the turn that it was turned on. Yes. And the observable compute active is not equal to this because this is actually the child function. It's we're on the call. We're on the call stack of the child's get accessor. So, um, so this refers to the child. It's not equal to the parent. Okay, that's true. And the uh, um, the parent's dependency array. In other words, the array of children on who on whose um, on the array the 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 array of observables. Um, on which the parent depends, all right, if it includes the child, if it doesn't include the child, then fall through to here or get caught, catch this, and go ahead and put, put that child on the dependency array of the parent, the parent's compute active dependency array. We're making this static. The reason why we're making the uh, dependency array and compute active static is so that we'll be able to refer to the parent when we're inside the child. Otherwise, the child, we're, we're on the call stack here, right? In the, in the child's get accessor. And this refers to the child, the child's observable. So there would be no way to reach back into reach back down into the call stack and access the um, the the parents this method it, you know there the the it would never there would be no way to reach the to reach back down in the call stack and have access to the parent scope through this unless you had a global value on on the heap. Right, like basically, like in GoLang, you you have a um, a value on the heap, like you have a um, you know, an allocation onto the heap memory, rather than a call stack or a Go routine or whatever. That would be th that would be the the observable. The observable would function as a global. And if you're using strict JavaScript, you're using TypeScript in a Dino environment, which I am, then um, you can't just refer to like a global variable. You have to, it has to be like, like it has to be explicitly defined. So we're using the class and a static, a static method, a static member, whether it's a property or a function or, you know, function method, right? If it's static, that's the global. So that's how, that's how you get global scope working with classes, you, you use static. So we're using static to refer to the parent. And now we can push, um, we can we can say onto the parent's dependency array, we will push this child. Okay, and so we're, 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 we're laying that up, um, that we're out, it's an alley-oop, we're gonna slam dunk it later. So we put that on there and then we're gonna return we're gonna return the value, which is one of the child. In order this is the, the, the call site, the calling code is the compute function, the parents compute function, right? So we're gonna return there with that value of one, which is the child, after 
we put that child on the dependency array of the of the parent. So that's this is really the toughest part of all is if you can get this, you got it, you got it. All right, so let's keep going. Return that that value, which is one plus one to the child's compute method. Okay, now result is two, and that will be assigned to um, down here. It'll be assigned to the uh, this dot value of the parent, but not before we turn compute active equal, turn it off, turn it to null. So in other words, we just um, deallocated that um, heap memory, that global, we turn that global off. So it's, it's not going to um, catch, you know, catch anything in this uh, get. So if anything else, if, if any other, you know, observables or any, yeah, if any other observables um, need to get their value, they're not going to be caught in this compute active and get added to an array or whatever. It doesn't apply to them because we turn this off. Okay, turn this off so we can just do regular gets and uh, without you know muddling it up. So we turn that off. Um, deallocate deallocate the memory here, and um, and then. <sighs> um, let's keep going. And we're saying, okay, if the result, which is what came back from computing from the computation, if the result is not equal to this dot value, in other words, I had to do the, I had to do this because I had an infinite loop, but I could probably get rid of this extra logic, but it's just there for now because it was, it's preventing an infinite loop that I had before because I had a multiple things happening anyway so if the value is in other words if the value is um is changed then then we're going to set this dot value which is going to trigger an update if the value is unchanged because you could recompute this but if the value is if the value is is um unchanged there's no reason to update people about a value that's not changed so we're just you know Check, checking for that condition and then um, if it if, if if it's a new in other words if it's a new value if the value has changed then we're going to go through the next steps so we're going to loop over that dependency array right where we put those subscribers on the dependency array in other words the child observable who is who has had its um, get accessor um, uh, called we're going to loop over this array and we're going to call, let's jump in here. We're going to call each, we're going to call for each one of these dependencies. We're going to call it, it's subscribe method and subscribe the parents compute method. So, th so this doc is, this refers to the parent, right? This is the parent function. Um, because we're back in the parents compute method, um, the the child observable is not no longer on the call stack. Um, it, it popped off the call stack because it, we returned its result from its get accessor method. Now we're back in the parent um, back in the parent observable. So this refers to the parent, and we have uh, we're able to track. The, ch the child observable from before when it was on the call stack and we got its value, we're able to track it from before because we put it onto that dependency array when, when it was in its get accessor up there. Okay, so it's on this dependency array. We saved it and now we loop over this array and call the child's subscribe function, the su child subscribe method, which basically says when the child updates, publish that update to all subscribers. So here's the subscriber function. It's a function that returns the parent, this, the parent's compute method, right? So this compute will be called again. And you can see the potential for an infinite loop if um, the child <laughs> updates, uh, uh, a, a parent uh, is computing and then adding um, the child to the dependency array and so on and so forth, right? So you gotta do some checks on that, so yeah.
definitely uh definitely dragons there but uh but yeah if you but this is this is working so um yeah okay so we subscribe to the parents compute uh, method we we subscribe we call the child's subscribe method so we we yeah so we add the parents compute method to the child's list of subscriptions okay so the list of subscriptions is the subscribers okay the subscribers so you have a value and subscribers so anytime your value updates notify all your subscribers obviously with a publish with a publish loop over all your subscribers and pass their handler with your current value okay all right and then that's pretty much that's that's the that's pretty much the the meat of all of it all right that's 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 it there so um what next um yeah so that so i i stepped into subscribe and that does okay push that parent compute method onto the subs um onto the subscriptions of the child dependency and then um set the dependency array to to empty now oh this is for the parent dependency array so we're not going to keep you know messing with that now set the value and that's going to trigger well if there's any yeah if there's any subscriptions on the parent it will trigger an update okay um yeah so set this dot value equals new value publish boom All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, and I've got it for parent, grandparent, and all that stuff. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So what en ends up happening is you get child value one, parent value two, grandparent uh, value three. Update the child value, which is really the grandchild, but um, in this case, we're just calling it child. Update it from one to two, and that triggers both the grand and grandparent and parent updates, right? Both the re recalculate or that compute, the parent compute method gets called boom, boom. 